Hey, Tide Cats fans, Digital host Louis B, man beside me, needs no introduction. He's the longest active serving Hamilton Tiger Cat, Simone Lawrence. And uh, Simone, when I say that, longest serving active Hamilton Tiger Cat, what comes to mind when I say that? Production. <laughs> well, do you, does it hit home though? Like as you're getting ready for another camp with this team, just how long you've been here and what you've accomplished here, does that does that hit you? Uh, sometimes, but it's like it's hard to really feel it when you're still in it and you still have so much more you want to accomplish as an individual, as a teammate, and just as a player. So like when you say it, it's like, dang, I've been here for a while, but it's like, man, I have so much more I want to do. And even like when we talk about how long you've been doing it, how long you've been playing the game at the level you're playing it, does that ever creep into your mind? Like, does, is age is just a number, especially for you when you look at your productivity the last like few seasons, does it ever sit, set in? Like, hey man, like I'm, I'm doing this at this age or I'm getting better every year. Uh, sometimes I joke about it, but like I try not to put my mind on that or even around that. I always just try to stay in like the competitive nature, you know, like, all right, it's a new year and you have to compete for a job because I, that's the reason I love football so much because it's like, it's so competitive. It's every year you have to find a way to produce. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like every defensive player of the year last year, I got to figure out what I'm going to do this year. You know, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, like, what's what's the difference between Sim in 2014 and Sim in 2022? Like, what's what jumps out to you in terms of, like, if you could tell that guy something, what would you tell him? Oh, man, if I could tell Sim 2014, I would tell him a lot. And I don't want to say it on camera. Maybe I'll save it for down the road. But um, just uh, I think that I grew so much just from my coaches that I've had, like all of my coaches that I've had and my teammates that has been around me and just being able to trust my teammates and trust my coaches and just being very coachable and realizing that I don't have to do too much to do a lot, you know, and that comes easy. So when people talk about you and I've had people on the show that I've talked to about this where I've said like, well, Sim, he's matured. Is that true? Is that a fair statement? Do you think it's fair that, you know, when people who have seen you, people have watched you play and they've said, well, Sims matured. Do you think that's a fair assessment? I think you could say that for sure. You know, I mean, I hope you mature. You know, you've been playing football for what, like 10 years professionally, right? So 2014, I hope I grew as a person and as a player, you know, down the road. And I just like to credit that to just like the amazing people that I'm around, like Coach Orlando, first, first class, Coach Washington, first class, Robin Ross, first class. And it's just like those guys forced me to be at a, a higher level. And, you know, I think it's the people. And you as a pro, how have you changed your mindset physically? Because like I, I think it's fair to say that maybe 2014 Sim wasn't doing yoga every day, wasn't practicing you know, meditation, those mindful techniques that you've been doing. So how has that helped you become the player you are today? You know, growing up, I always, everybody always used to be like, football's 90% mental, 10% physical. And I was like, now why are we doing all this running and lifting if it's, <laughs> you know? And then you like sit down with yourself and it's like, whoa, like you could trick your brain into being like whoever you want to be on the field if you like really focus into it. And like, I understand the mental aspect of the game way more than right now in 2022 than I did in 2014. Yeah. So your mindset, about the way you approach the game, the way you play the game, hasn't changed that much though, right? I mean, once that whistle starts, once you run out onto this field, I mean, the way you play hasn't changed much, has it? No, nah, I feel like I'm pretty consistent with that, you know, like, like I always joke and say, like, I would never like touch my mother, but like, if she walked onto the field, like she would understand, like she's in danger, you know what I mean? Just because that's the way we were brought up, you know? So it's like, it's a, it's like a sanctuary out there on that football field, you know, like a lot of people always ask the question, like you and Speedy are great friends. Like, what are you going to do when he comes out here? And I'm just like, man, I'm going to try to kill him. Like, what you mean? Like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's football. I mean, yeah. The fact that he's doing it in blue too. I mean, it's got to give you that little extra motivation. What do you? What do you mean? What do you think when you see JG and 
you know, even Masoli is going to be rocking the black and yeah. red, Ciroc, and, and J like it's going to be different. I mean, that's what we get in this league, but you guys were close for such a long period of time. What's it going to be like when you see him on it's, this It's super cool because I'm so happy for guys like Jaguar, uh, Jeremiah Masoli, um, freaking Speedy going and continuing their career. And like, it's always like you're in practice and like you look at Speedy when he catches a ball in front of you like, Man, if I was allowed to hit you, boy, you know what I'd do to you. And then, like, now it's like all oh, like, oh, snap, I get to see what I would really do. <laughs> and then it's like Jer Jeremiah, you know, he's mad competitive. And, you know, I know, like, playing against him, he's going to try me. He's going to be like, oh, I, I know Sim think I can't get that dig behind him. I'm going to throw it just to, like, you know, and I'm like, I'm going to pick it off. So it's like, it's fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go back to this team this season. Expectations. Do you listen to them? Do you put them into your motivation? Because this team's gone to back-to-back -back Great Cups, haven't gotten the trophy yet. What are you feeling going into this year? I feel confident. You know, every year I come in with the mind like we're going to win it all. And like anything other than that is mad disappointing. Um, and like the past couple years, we're right there. And for whatever reason, we didn't get over the hump. And you can't change your mindset. I mean, it's tough like losing back-to-back -back Great Cups. And like, but like your mindset coming into the game, you have to believe that you're going to win it all. And I feel like the staff feels the same way. The players that come in here are gonna feel the same way. And I mean, we're all gonna be super confident. And I think that's just gonna come from preparation because preparation breeds confidence. And lastly, what has it meant to you to see a guy like Dane, you know, pick up, move his family here, Braylon come here a couple weeks early, as somebody who's embraced the city a long time ago, what does it mean to you to see other guys finally see what you see when it comes to being in this city and being a player in this city and what it means to, to that? It's, it's, it's a blessing because I feel like we're rock stars here in Hamilton. Like, <laughs> and I, I think like everybody that follows me on my personal Snapchat understands that like, it's fun out here in Hamilton. Like we get to do a lot of cool things, great things. And not only that, we get to help out so much in the community and the kids need us out here in like these schools and just to have a role model and somebody to look up to and see like success or what it looks like or like what it takes to get to another type of level in life. And you know, like I remember when I was a kid, you know, you just want to, see that something's obtainable you know what I mean and I feel like having so many great players here in Hamilton it does a uh, great jobs and it does wonders for the kids just to see them driving around or coming to their school and seeing them so yeah. all right last one I lied because if I look directly across from me I'm looking at the wall of honor I see a 42 Rob Hitchcock I just I'm pretty sure you happen to pass him in some record is there a spot for uh, a 2-1 Simone Lawrence up there and uh, is that is that would that be a goal of yours when this is all said and done? Uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, every time I come onto the field, I look at all the greats, like Joe Moffer, Angelo Moscow, you know, like Coach Orlando. I look, I look at my coach every day like, dang, Coach, you're really him right now. You're the president of the team. You're on the wall. You're a Hall of Fame. I'm like, all right, here I come. <laughs> and like, it's just like greatness is right in front of me every single day. So I get to like mimic that every day. So, but like, yeah, it's always in the back of my mind. And like guys like Rob Hitchcock, who led the way and off the field, on the field, like everybody was, I sat with a guy at an appearance the other day, huge Rob Hitchcock fan, huge. I was doing everything to take him away from Rob Hitchcock. I was like, oh, you gotta do it. I'll, I'll buy you the 21 jersey myself. <laughs> like he, he watched the first actual Tiger Cat game and like, ever like yeah, ever yeah, yeah. and he was just telling me all rob hitchcock legendary stories and stuff rob you're a legend you're a real legend you know what i mean and then his son came over to him he's like hey you know simone you passed your favorite player and he was like oh why'd you tell me that <laughs> I, uh, and he got, but it was it was it was unique rob hitchcock is definitely a legend and that's a great person sam i've uh, i've watched you play almost every down here so i know i know your name's gonna be up there so Best of luck this season. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate you. No problem.